Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Lyman, and I love to weave. That's been my hobby for many years. I weave here at the Harlow House. And today I want to talk to you about weaving, and I hope that you'll get interested like I did. Many, many years ago, way back in the 1600s and the 1700s, weaving was extremely important because they had to make their own clothes. They had to make their sheets for the bed. Um, they had to make uh, blankets, curtains. It was very, very important for their survival. And so they would grow flax to make linen fiber to weave for lighter clothing in the summer. And then they would, uh, they would raise sheep and shear the sheep for the wool, and then they could make much warmer clothing. Uh, today, a lot of weaving is done with cotton. And when you get your kit, you'll probably have a balls of cotton to weave. They didn't have cotton back then. Uh, the cotton gin hadn't been invented yet, and cotton was only grown in the South. But you're going to receive in your kit a little cardboard loom. Um, there are many, many, many different kinds of looms, but they all do the same thing. They raise and lower threads. And you have warp threads that go up and down your loom, and you have weft threads that go back and forth. So now in your kit, you will be receiving a, a long string that's going to be your warp thread. So you're going to put that over the first notch and, and leave a tail on the back. And I'm going to tape that tail down so it doesn't move. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to put a piece of tape. So now that's secure. Now I'm ready to start winding my warp. So I go from that notch at the top to the notch at the bottom. And then I go around the next notch and up to the next notch. And I'm going to keep a firm tension. I want my warp to be nice and firm. I go around the next notch. Around, around, around. And I'm keeping a, a nice strong tension on that all the way across my loom. All right, I got to the last bottom notch, and I've got another tail that I'm going to tape down on this end. go. And there is my warped loom. Now I am ready to weave. So I'm going to take my ball of yarn and my needle, which has a, a, a large eye in it. So my yarn will go through the eye of the needle. If it's thicker yarn, sometimes it's a little hard to get through that eye. There we go. Okay, so now my arm is about 29 inches long. Your arm is going to be about the right length because a, about a two-foot piece of yarn is a good measure to start with, 24 inches. So you're going to do about a yarn, uh, an arm's length. Take your scissors, cut that. I'm ready to weave. Now. I can either start the first, I'm going to start on the right-hand side. Um, if you're left-handed, you might feel more comfortable starting from the left side. I'm right-handed, and I'm going to start from the right. So I can either start the first warp thread, or the weft going under the first warp thread, or it can go over. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over. These 
you might have to pick up because they're, if, if you did a nice firm warp, you might have to pick up a piece. I'm going to kind of pull that a little bit. And I'm going to go continue. OK, this, this was going under. So now the next thread, I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. OK. Now, I want to leave a nice tail over here. And I'm going to push that yarn up to about a quarter to a half inch from the top. OK. There we go. And you notice that my thread is, it came over the last warp thread, my weft, came over, it's coming over. So I have to be sure that my next row goes under, the opposite of what it's doing there. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under. I'm not going to pull that tight yet. You watch. OK, I'm going under this one. So it's over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. OK, I'm going to hang on to that, hold it tight. And now, I don't want to pull in these sides. If, if I pull tight, you're going to end up with a a piece of work that is very skinny in the middle. So I'm going to just gently, 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 till it hardly touches, till the weft hardly touches that warp string. And I push the weft up. With You can do it with your thumb. If, if you've seen a real weaver on a machine, they have a big beater. Well, your thumb is going to be the beater. OK, now you notice. It's coming under this thread. So now I'm going to go back over, over, under, over, under. OK. Going to not pull that tight. OK. All right, this was under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. OK. And I'm going to just hang on to that loop. And then gently, 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 hardly there. Take my thumb, press it up gently. Because you, you want to have a nice, packed look. You don't want to have a lot of spaces. OK. All right, I think I can make one more round. So I'm going to go, again, it's going over. So under, over, under, over, under. Over, under, over. And if you're, if you have a, if you <laughs> have the frustration of your yarn pulling out of your needle a lot, you can always tie a little knot here to keep that thread in the needle. Okay, so we're going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, so now. And I don't want to pull that too tight. Just gently, 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 hardly touching. OK. Now, you're going to find you're going to have a lot of these <laughs> threads wherever you stop. You'll have threads on this side and on this side. And I'll show you. This is what I have done uh, on my own. And you can see where I pulled in too tight. So that's why I'm really saying, just going to go around that last warp thread, just very gently don't let it pull in that, that uh, last warp thread. So now you've got all these ends when you're done. So you want to you secure these ends. So you're going to take, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be time consuming. But it'll be worth it if you take each end. OK, this one, I'm just going to go around that thread. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go right down that little ending loop. Don't have to go too far. I pull 
I pull that through, and it hides it, okay? And when I pull it through, then I can cut it off. Then I can cut it, and that thread's taken care of. So I have to do that with every thread, is thread it on my needle, and then hide it inside the edge of this. All right, now, say you've... You, can, you have two choices. You can weave one long piece all the way to the bottom. If you do that, you're going to, I'll show you on this one, which I'm going to do it. You're going to take off this, that piece that you taped down, bring it forward, put it in your needle, because you want, you want to secure that. Okay, you in there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to just thread that under, over, under, over, under. I don't have to do very far, just to secure that thread. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my bottom piece. Bring it over, thread it. Over. Again, just thread it so that you secure it. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut that off there. And cut that off there. All right. So now, if you had one long, one long piece, these cardboard looms are very sturdy. They're stiff. So to get these loops off, I suggest you take like a flat screwdriver and push each loop up over that notch, say each one. So you'd, you'd push all these loops off. You'd push all the loops off at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to take this loop off. Okay, so then I would pull each one of these white loops. It's going to pull the warp from the bottom. It's going to pull that loop flush with, with your weaving. And then at the, at the very end, you're going to cut that loop, and you're going to tie knots across. But because I made two, what I thought would be fun to do would be to make two, like, mug rugs or coasters. Could do that for mom. Um, I can, if you do that, you would weave down like I did, halfway. Turn your, your loom, weave down halfway, but leave a good, good inch in between. So now I'm going to cut that space in between. Okay. I'm going to hold, hold this. I'm going to pull. That's already been pulled. See how that loop goes flush? Take the next two strings, pull. Next two, pull. 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 Now, you don't want these warp, these weft threads to, to end up, see, it already wants to scoot out. So what you have to do is now take these little ends and tie knots so they hold in, they hold in your weft thread so it doesn't escape. So you would go across and tie little knots with two, to each of the threads. So... 
this one works a little bit better. Yeah, see the, that, that one weft thread wants to escape. So maybe, maybe you need to leave more, a little bit more than an inch in the middle so you, these are longer to tie knots because they're kind of short. So I hope you have lots and lots of fun with this and you can be very creative because we're going to put different yarns in your kit and you can make designs and stripes and different colors. So have a wonderful time. I can't wait to see some of your finished products. <laughs>